Welcome. Welcome to this talk on NSTD entrainment in dam wave on bar theoretical considerations. My name is Hubert Chanson, and I'm located at the University of Queensland, Brisbane, Australia. Highly charged and flood waves may result from flash floods, dam break wave, in river tsunami bar, landslide dam failure on glacier lake outburst floods. And they have caused massive loss of lives with, within the last 40 years, more than several hundred of thousands of lives lost. Field on laboratory observation have highlighted massive self aeration at the leading edge of surge wave, with illustration on the laboratory on the top right and on the bottom illustration during the Tohoku tsunami in Japan on the 11th of March, 2011. Quantitative, ob quantitative observations were conducted in laboratory during the early 2000s. On typical results shown on the top right, illustrating the vertical profile of void fraction as a function of time or distance from the leading edge of the dam break wave, highlighted a rapid temporal evolution in void fraction distributions, with the void fraction being zero in water and one in air. So the focus of this talk here is going to be on the transient self aeration in dam break wave on dry bed on breaking bar and translation on its modeling. So let us consider a breaking roller traveling upstream and propagating on still water here in this case. Experimental observation, and we will see some shortly, highlighted a change in void fraction profile from a convex profile at the leading edge to a concave profile further downstream. Thus, let us apply the equation of conservation of mass for air in this complicated air water flow. After transformation, we obtain this differential equation in dimensionless form, in which C, the key variable, is the void fraction, and D prime is a turbulent air water diffusivity. Assuming that the vertical distribution of this dimensionless diffusivity, D prime, follows the shape that we see on the bottom right with this analytical solution shown on the top right, we can obtain an analytical solution of the vertical distribution of void fraction, which is seemingly simple, a power law, in which the exponent n is in fact directly linked to the death at virad void fraction, itself being a function of time. With here, example of the analytical solutions for different value of n and in turn, different death at virad void fraction in the roller. Let us compare now this analytical solution to experimental data. Experimental data on a dam break wave, with here video of the experiment that were performed in the early 2000s, on the reanalysis of some of this data, showing on the vertical axis the vertical elevation, the horizontal axis is the void fraction, and we see for different times and the first arrival of the first detection of the leading edge of the dam break wave, the, the void fraction on its comparison with the analytical solution that we have just presented. Let us now to look at the breaking bar roller as illustrated on the top video. The top video is a replay at one eighth of the normal speed of a breaking bar propagating upstream. And we see in the foreground a phase detection probe array.
for this data set. Dimensionalized distribution of fault fraction are shown on the bottom graph. At various time, since the first detection of the bow roller at a given early AN location, on the data compared with the analytical solution for different times. So, what are the key takeaways? We have now a new analytical model that is able to predict the instantaneous vertical distribution of void fraction on its evolution with time from a convex to a concave profile. At the leading edge, the convex profile implies very large death at very large void fraction in the roller, typically more than 50%, while the concave profile further behind implies a much lesser aeration in the trailing part of the roller. And we have here an example of the evolution of time of the shape of the void fraction profile in a bar roller. And we have been able to apply with increasing time a successful theoretical model. From this data analysis, we can then derive a temporal evolution of the instantaneous death at very large void fraction in the roller with experimental data for dam break wave on breaking bar shown on this graph. Possibly one of the most startling outcomes is a close agreement between the two data sets, despite the massive physical differences between a dam break wave propagating on dry bed and a breaking bar propagating on initially a thick layer of water. Secondly, we see a very strong initial aeration of the leading edge, nearly 60% in death at very high fraction, followed by a quasi exponential decay in the mean void fraction. We can also look at the temporal evolution of the instantaneous death at very large turbulent diffusivity, D prime mean, with its definition on the top right. Experimental data shown on the graph show, despite some scatter, a relatively narrow range in dimensionalized diffusivity, irrespective of time on flow typology. We can also then look, compare this dimensionalized death at large diffusivity with other air water flow on the result shown here as a function of the Reynolds number or horizontal axis. The transient data sets are in red on blue. On the other data set will include some self aerated chute, plunging jet, and hydraulic jam. One of the key observations of this combined data set, covering more than three orders of magnitude in terms of the Reynolds number, is that we see a monotonically decaying diffusivity with increasing Reynolds number irrespective of the typology of the self aerated motion on across a very wide range of Reynolds number, implying that extrapolation of small size laboratory data to large full scale data will be affected by scaling effects. So let us try to summarize the key takeaway on the key message here. We look specifically at self aeration at the leading edge of flood wave, including dam break wave and breaking bar roller. Although it may also be relevant to hydraulic jump at high Reynolds number. We highlighted an unsteady transient self aeration with very intense aeration at the leading edge. And we developed a new theoretical model that was successful to characterize a transient self aeration on its variation with time was validated, again, dam break wave and breaking bar roller data. But the present analysis showed also, more broadly, a decreasing dimensionalized diffusivity with increasing Reynolds number, with direct adverse implication for hydraulic modeling or numerical studies validated with small size laboratory data. Some relevant literature is shown here. Thank you very much.